divide and simplify. So I have one fraction divided by another fraction, and we want to pick one of these four answers. Okay? So let's copy them down, and we've got to think for a minute. We copy down the first one, you keep the first fraction, you change this to a times, and you invert the second fraction. So the x squared minus 16 goes on top and the 2x plus 10 goes on the bottom. So you keep the first fraction, you change this, and you flip the second fraction. All right, now x times x is x squared. And what is this? This 25 is a perfect square, isn't it? So we would say 5 times 5 is 25. When you FOIL it, the outside terms give you 5x, and the inside terms give you 5x. 5x and 5x is 10x. So this is the factor form of this perfect square trinomial. Copy down the bottom. Okay. Leave your times. Now, over here we have the difference of two squares, don't we? Remember how to factor the difference of two squares? You have your x and x. The square root of 16 is 4. We want to have negative 16, so we're going to write negative 4 over here, okay? As you FOIL this, the outside terms give you negative 4x, and the inside terms give you a positive 4x, and they cancel, don't they? Okay? So, uh, the difference of two squares, x squared minus 16 is x plus 4, x minus 4. On the bottom, I have a 2 in common here, don't I? The 2x and the 10 have a 2. Factor out the 2, and that leaves you x. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times what is 10? 2 times 5 is 10. So if I, if I use distributed property, I have 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times plus 5 is plus 10. Okay? Now notice you have this in common on both of these. These x plus 5s, they're in common. Okay, so we're going to cancel them out. What else do I have in common? How about these two? Okay, you cancel out the x plus 4s. So we got rid of the x plus 5s. We got rid of the x plus 4s. What does that leave me? x plus 5 times x minus 4 over 2. All right? Of my four answers, I pick C.